to this channel i i must say it's <laughs> this channel i know has been going through <laughs> i'm here and then i'm not here i'm trying to find my path i must say it has been pretty i'm trying to like lean on the desk and i just missed um i must say i have been going through a bit of soul searching lately um with everything going on in the world you know it's pretty hard to kind of stay on the bandwagon and not get flung off um but i'm here and i'm really hoping that i can pull through with a vlog for you guys over the last few months where i haven't been posting on youtube i have filmed multiple vlogs and then i just don't get around to editing them and then they don't make it to youtube so i have a lot of footage that i just filmed and never it never went anywhere which is a shame <sighs> but we're turning over a new leaf and we're just getting on with our lives and hopefully this is the start of something new. Feels so right here with you. I can't sing, so that's why I'm not singing. This is a pumpkin spice latte. Well, it's the... Oh, it is a latte. But I asked for the frappe, but it's a latte. Anyways... I'm not the biggest fan of this drink, I must say, because it doesn't taste like anything other than coffee, which is just a bit of a letdown because I was really hoping for some sort of pumpkin spice. It just tastes like coffee, so that is a shame, but we're drinking it anyways because it still cost me like $7. <laughs> it's Sunday evening at the moment, and I just feel so good because I've had dinner really early. Um, I've gone and like, done all the things I've needed to do and now I'm just here about to do some life admins. So I've got like my diaries that I need to fill out and get my week planned and the rest of the month planned because it's coming up to September. Well, on Wednesday it's September. So I've got a lot happening and I just need to get it all planned. And I figured I'd just start the vlog here on this lovely Sunday evening. I'm currently sitting in my little beauty corner in my home. Um, I've taken up this corner of the house and I've got my lights. I've got my lovely desk and then the beautiful backdrop here and then two of these wonderful you know what, i'll just i'll just show you i've got these lovely um trolley system this is from ikea and then i also got a pink one also from ikea um and then i've got yeah these little stools that i'm sitting on from kmart so i managed to find a few bargains to pimp out this room um, everything's either from Kmart or Ikea because, except the lighting of course, but yeah, because um, <laughs> I don't have hundreds of dollars to be buying expensive furniture yet. A few things have happened since probably the last time I've done a video on YouTube and I don't even remember what it was, but I have had my wisdom teeth out. Um, I, I know I've mentioned my lip filler before. I've had that done three times this year. Um, I bought a car. I think I mentioned that. I am progressing more with my online community and um, trying to build a platform on social media and trying to create a beautiful community who are like-minded and that's my big that's my big thing right now that I'm trying to manifest. Um, I'm still in my relationship, <laughs> still going strong. Uh, I'll be celebrating my four year anniversary with my boyfriend in September. I have started on Roaccutane, so I've been on that for a month and I will be doing a video probably talking in depth about that because I did find it was pretty hard to find us other Australians who have taken the drug just because I believe it is different all around the world in different countries um they use different amounts and ingredients etc etc so I look at messy um whew, i've done some photo shoots recently i haven't got the pictures back yet but i'm really excited um and then we're just goal planning we're just planning all of our goals i feel like because we are well past halfway like Christmas is around the corner, Halloween and all that fun stuff. I need, I, well, I feel like I need to start planning for 2022. 
there are so many amazing things that want to happen in 2022. There's a lot of amazing things that have happened this year already, but um, I think next year is going to be pretty magical because like the number 2022, like if it, if it was in the books, if I could, I would love to get married and have my first child next year <laughs> just because of the numerology and the power that I can feel next year holding but that's not happening. I'm not rushing those sorts of things at all. I just think that forever, whoever in the world is getting married next year or having a baby, lucky them, because I think there's a lot of magic around next year. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna <laughs> stop rambling with my Sunday afternoon evening chats. It's kind of getting better. It's kind of getting better the more that I drink it. Um, I'm going to be busy bee though working this week. I've got Monday to Thursday work, 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 work. Um, I'm looking to sign up for pole fitness um, because I absolutely loved doing that. I did a trial yesterday. That was so much fun. And I really, really, really want to do that. So I might be doing that. And um, I've been, I've done, I'm currently in one self development sort of a program a spiritual community and i've enrolled in another one which starts on wednesday so they'll kind of overlap for a couple months but i'm so excited i've done so much like spiritual growth this year and i'm just really trying to focus on healing myself and figuring out who i am i don't know if that sounds really cliche but i think a lot of us don't don't allow the time to process <laughs> our emotions and our thoughts and separate them from ourselves and learn from others and be educated from those who are wiser and older perhaps um i think there's a lot to be said for shared wisdom and knowledge and having community of people who are like-minded which is what i'm trying to manifest more of but um yeah it's been really it's been really 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 uh, healing helpful soul enriching i'm just so glad that i found these people and that i'm on this journey but i can totally share more of that as i go on the journey but i've just been doing a lot of soul searching this year figuring out who the hell i am because i have no idea i i really i really have been struggling which is why on social media and like youtube i've been like back and forth like and what do i post like i like makeup but i also like fashion but i also like acting but i also like spirituality and trying to just figure out what it is that i'm <laughs> i want to do that's been a big focus for me so i've been doing that i've been keeping busy but um that's all for me right now um i'll probably talk to you guys later in the week Good evening, everyone. It is, I think, 7.30 in the PM. <laughs> um, I got done a couple minutes ago doing um, a beautiful opening. Um, I did a cacao ceremony and it's like an opening to um, this course. Well, we call it a journey and it's basically Oh, I don't even want to like round it up in a nutshell because there's so much to it and there's so much that we covered in just this one hour long session or just over an hour. Um, we had a meditation and the cacao ceremony. If you've never done a cacao ceremony before, um, it was kind of like a guided meditation and having your intention with cacao and I've never had cacao before. So it was the first time and it was actually very yummy. Um, but you can have a Google of it. I won't ramble on, but... Um, I just got done there and um, it was wonderful and I'm just so excited to um, grow spiritually and like have all of my wildest dreams come true basically that was my intention. I got a blood test today, you see that little dot on my arm, um, because of my, uh, what do you call it, 
my Roaccutane uh, course that I'm doing. So I've got, I think six months is what my dermatologist has said I will be, how long I'll be on this for. And every month you go and have a checkup and get your bloods done just to make sure that your liver is handling this drug okay. So I'll be seeing him on Friday, finding out how everything's going. Um, but this week has just been really chaotic <laughs> so far. It's like eat, sleep, work, repeat for me. Um, so I'm trying to really find moments where I can just give myself the time and space um, and not have to respond to all my messages and my texts and my emails and go on Instagram and make sure I'm present there. I'm trying to find the balance. It's um, It's been a struggle. So my apologies this week. So far, vlogging hasn't, like there's not really anything interesting to vlog when I'm at work, but that's fine because the weekend we're going to have so much fun. That's what I do now. I kind of do live for the weekends at this point because it's the time I get to do what I want to do. So I do want a goal, like a life goal one day is I'm not living for the weekends. Like every day is a day that I love and that I can create and that I feel so blessed and grateful to be here. <laughs> it's hard on these days when work is just absolute shit and I want to run and run and hide and scream but that's okay tomorrow's a new day and we're just gonna carry carry on basically <laughs> like that saying do you remember back in the day keep calm and carry on wow it's so relevant in 2021 for me <laughs> anyways I'm gonna wind down go have some dinner I'm so hungry um and check back in with you guys tomorrow hi guys I'm back it's Friday afternoon it's about four o'clock at the moment. Um, today has been a very busy day and I have forgotten to vlog the whole morning. I'm so sorry. Um, it started with my dermatologist appointment, which was this morning quite early, but it was not very good. Um, I didn't really get much from the dermatologist and they didn't really get many answers and just kind of like, Overall, I felt like I left with no insight into the questions that I had for him. It was really just like, and I'm not joking when I say I asked a question and I would just get a no. And that was it, like a shake of a head and a no. Like there was no elaboration, there was no further questioning. And I had to bring up every question I had. Because um, I have had a few symptoms that have been unusual from being on the Roaccutane. Um, they've only sort of started once I've been on the Roaccutane. Um, and I didn't get really any answers so that was kind of upsetting and I <laughs> nearly had a little bit of a moment in the car park where I just thought like I just I spent all this money for like a 10 minute session and I didn't leave feeling fulfilled um, but that's okay because we're just carrying on with the life we have other things to worry about what's done is done so then I came home did my makeup and I'm using a new um, moisturizer slash primer. So I'm gonna do a mini haul right now of all the things that came yesterday and this morning from Glam Radar and Adore Beauty. So I did put in a few orders earlier this week and they finally arrived. And one of the items was this moisturizer. So this is it. It, Embryolis, it is French. And I did do French in school, but I can't pronounce that name. But it's the Le Cream. I think Le is like milk. I thought Le was milk in French. It might not be. And I realized I got the sensitive one. I don't remember at all ordering a sensitive one, but somehow we've got the sensitive one. Um, so on the back, the other side, it's got it in English. Um, so it's hyperallergenic, fragrance-free, suitable for adults, children, and babies. And it's a moisturizer, a makeup primer, and a moisturizing mask. Um, it's a full-on like derma, dermatology grade, dermatological grade product moisturizer, I guess. So it's had a lot of rave reviews apparently. Um, and I used it for the first time today. And I my lovely camera just, my phone just went, there's not enough space to film. So I had to take delete a few things sorry about that interruption anyways um 
yeah, it's supposed to be really good. Um, and I think that's why my skin has this sort of dewy, glowy look to it. I don't think it's a sweat perspiring um, glowiness. I think that this is because of this, because I've never noticed it before. And this is the only product different on my skin today. So I guess if you like dewiness, glowy skin, um, a bit of a sheen, try this out. It was, I think, $42 for the 100 mil or $48. So pretty average. I also stocked up on a few ordinary foundations for my formal girls that I have um, in two weeks time and then boring stuff. I got another MAC pump for my ooh, foundation. Um, I do, I, I tried to go without a pump for a while, but it just is really difficult to get the right amount when you're like trying to pour it out. So I succumbed to buying a $13 pump it's so ridiculous that they're 13 dollars for a pump it should be five dollars in my humble opinion take it or leave it we got also from adore beauty i got this little sample anastasia beverly hills mascara i'm really keen to try this i haven't used it yet um but we'll see how that goes that was a fun little treat that they gave me and then adore beauty what else did we get boring stuff is it they just give boring stuff. I thought I actually got makeup. Maybe not. That quite possibly could be everything that I got from Adore Beauty. It was more of just like basic things, like um, nothing too fun. Because from Glam Raider, I haven't even opened the box because like, well, I have, but like I've kept it all in the box because look at this box. And then look at what's inside. Ready? Look at that pink fun. Oh my god. I'm I just I I'm so excited. Okay, so we got the peaches and cream. So I got a few things from Peaches and Cream because I follow a makeup artist and I've um, done a few of her little tutorial online tutorials, watch them, and she has all these peaches and cream products, and I was like, I need that stuff. Like it looks amazing. So we got the peaches and cream. Five creamy lip liners. These are all different shades of nudes. And nudes is like a color I wear all the time and I feel like a very staple color. So we have all of those. Um, you can see the difference. This one, no worries. Thankfully it didn't break. So we've got like quite a dark, dark brown. Then this is kind of more of a pinky dark brown. Then we've got this warm toned reddish brown, a lighter brownish nude, reddish nude, and then a more cool toned nude. So I'm really excited to try all of these. They look so nice and creamy and I just love that they all came in a pack because I think this might've been like $13. It was very reasonable. So that's why I grabbed that you can never have enough nude lip liners um, from the brand doll beauty i got one of their lipsticks and it just looks so nice this is the shade golden girl so their little um oh my gosh i have never seen a lipstick look so beautiful like the packaging i mean the charlotte tilbury ones are very nice and very luxe but wow 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 and then oh, yeah do you see the like love heart um emboss effect how beautiful does it smell there's no fragrance to it either so that's quite pleasant but yeah it's this really beautiful like very light nude shade but i think that like you can just pop this on top of like a dark liner or something that look is very in at the moment so that's why i wanted to get quite a light nude color then we got a really fun neon orange lip liner because I'm really liking orange lipstick. Well, not lipstick, but like orange. I've got this orange lip balm from MAC um, and it's very pigmented and it's orange. Did I say that it was orange? Oh my God, take a shot of how many times I say orange. It just looked really cool. So I wanted to use a lip liner to create more of a lipstick effect rather than just like a quick little lip balm application. Um, and then my, my, I'm so excited for this. So. I finally got my hand on P. Louise, the um, bases, the cosmetic base for your prepping your eyeshadows. I went to the um, Morphe store in Melbourne a couple years ago. They had sold out. And then whenever I go online, they've sold out of these um, shades, number one and number two. So 
I finally got them. I'm just so excited. Plus. I got the full kit of all the pastel shades. Um, so there's Vivid Violet, Hint of Mint, Winter Rose, and Touch of Frost. And it's like basically pastel, pink, purple, green, and blue. I just, again, I can't tell you how excited I am for this. So I would like to open this really nicely. There we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, the packaging. Stop it. Okay, I've never owned anything from P. Louise like that's been this fancy. Like the only thing I had was one of these in the white color. Um, but oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at them. This makes me really happy. This just makes me really happy. I just feel really, really happy that I have this in my life to create so many beautiful makeup looks for people and for myself. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. P. Louise is a bit of an inspiration for me. I really only started looking into her as a person and her brand recently and hearing her story and how she started and um, I just resonated. I just feel like I'm resonating with her a lot. Um, I've always been the one to wear like lots of makeup and have fun with makeup and do color. I really don't like just neutrals, which I know is what I'm wearing today, but that's just because I had a very chill content day and this makeup suits lots of outfits. So when I'm having fun, I'm doing all sorts of colors and I just, it's hard because I feel like not many people do that. Like that I follow, not many people wear colored eyeshadow. But anyways, I'm rambling. The next few things I got were all these pigments from, again, Peaches and Cream. And the boxes are so cute. Okay, so we've got the Peaches pigments in Starlight, Fantasy, and Halo. So I'll quickly take them out of the box so you can see the colors. Starlight, I think this one had the, it's like white with silver like silver, oh yes, silver shimmers. Let's see if I can get this to focus, probably not, but it's like got white, it's like white with like silver shimmers on it. Very, very beautiful, very beautiful. Fantasy is white with pink reflex. Oh yes, okay, so I can see that. I don't know if you can, actually, yeah, you can. Do you see how it's like reflecting like pinky, there we go. See that like purple pink color? That is the reflect. It just looks a bit distorted, but oh my gosh. So I got these white shades because I plan to put them, do looks of them over the top of the colored bases from P. Louise. So I just know that they're gonna look absolutely amazing. And then we got Halo, which was the champagne-y sort of color. Um, yeah, so it's like a champagne-y pink. But that one's going to be really nice for more of my neutral looks. And then we got the Pink Panther one. Look at this freaking box. Like, what? Can you see how excited I get about makeup? Like, mm -mm -mm -mm. oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. So this is obviously going to be pink. Oh yes. Oh yes, that's gorgeous. Um, sorry that it doesn't focus very nicely. And then we have the... Peaches pigments. So I don't know what the difference is with these ones, but we have the color. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Oh, it's kind of on the outside of the. It's kind of all over the place, isn't it? I've had a bit of a spillage. I might just tighten that bit more just in case. Um, so this is a gold one. Wow, there's yeah, very much gold reflex, but it's like white with gold reflect going on. Moonlight, ah oh, yes, yeah. so this one was meant to be really pretty for the inner corner, it said. So it's just, again, white with gold reflex and it might, you might think that they will look the same, but once they're applied to the lid, I guarantee you they don't look the same. Um, and then we have watermelon. So this one was pink with blue reflex or something like that, or teal reflex. Oh my God. That is sick. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to show you on 
on camera we're done um so this afternoon i'm just gonna chill i am be doing washing um and then i'm just gonna drop my sister at a soccer game and then have a really nice chill friday night i can't wait to just put away all of my washing and relax i don't know about you but if i have a night like a friday night or a saturday night and i'm at home and just relaxing it is the best feeling to me i just feel so calm and relaxed so I can't wait for that because tomorrow I am going out for dinner with my boyfriend. So that'll be really exciting too. But for now, we're just enjoying a really chill night. Might play around with some makeup. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, that's all for me now for this afternoon. I'm so sorry. I've been slack actually showing you guys fun things that are going on. Hopefully we get better tomorrow. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome back to the vlog this part of the vlog. It is Saturday afternoon and I just got home from having a lovely yoga session and coffee um, and breakfast with some friends. It was really great to catch up. Um, I couldn't film though because obviously like it's a yoga class and there's lots of people in there and I just don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. Um, on top of that, catching up with these friends. Haven't seen them in a little while so again, didn't film that. Um, but I am about to have a girl come around to do a formal makeup trial, so I'm very excited to do that. So I'm just setting up everything. As you can see, I've got my stool here, um, I've got table space, and then here is all of my tools, <laughs> basically, um, to, yeah, do the makeup. I'm hoping that I succeed in this look because I believe she's going for quite like a dark, smoky eye. And smoky eyes do intimidate me, but we're getting practice. We're gonna do our best, basically. So I'm excited to do that very, very soon. And then yeah, I'll be heading out to the Korean barbecue tonight. flaking down this part of my face um, thanks to the Rakutane we have upped to two doses um, again I don't I think I must have spoken to you about the dermatologist on Friday and how that was not a, not a good experience um, but we're gonna see how the skin goes and again I know that my skin doesn't look it doesn't look as bad as other people that you see where their entire face is covered um, in these giant pustules and redness. Mind you, I do have makeup on so you can't see the um, discoloration going on underneath. Um, but I am on this skincare journey and I'm hoping to just keep updating as I go through all my different vlogs. Today was Father's Day, so this morning me and my family we and Jake joined us and my grandma. We all went and had some breakfast at this place that we go to all the time. Um, it's local to us and we're basically regulars there. So we go there for lots of different events. They do really good breakfast. Um, and then Jake and I went to the shops and we got a few things um, and then headed to his and I made some um, cranberry and chicken and brie um, burgers. So they were really good. And now I'm back home and I've been watching TikTok. I went and got fuel. And I'm sort of deciding what to do with myself now. Like I probably should be doing my journaling and getting all my life admin sorted because it's a Sunday night. But I'm also just like, like I want to create. But I don't have the energy to create. Um, I do have things I probably need to get done before I just start playing with makeup. But I'm really hoping that I get to play with makeup at some point during the week. I want to play with all the fun things that I just bought. I'm kind of like feeling really delirious so I'm probably gonna try and get an early night so that's all from me guys so I'm gonna wrap it up now I'm gonna end the vlog here I really hope that you've enjoyed this week and I hope that you have a beautiful week ahead and I will see you in my next vlog love you so much bye